Hey guys, welcome to another video. 11 DPO today. We're gonna dip these. I have a bunch of clear blues that I basically had from previous cycle. Minor emergency, back to where we were. Uh, 11 DPO, it is a oh, bit of a, bit of a strange start this morning. Uh, hubby is home. He, he has had a bit of a shoulder injury kind of situation and he had to take off yesterday and today, and today especially is just kind of... He got up before me and he's just started doing various like things around the house. You would think he's hurt and, you know, but whatever. Um, he's just kind of running around doing different things and it's just stressing me because he's kind of doing things his way and <laughs> I feel like it's causing more work for me later. Anyway. So it's been a strange morning. I'm a little bit flustered. So if I look kind of strange, that's the reason. Um, I'm feeling a bit flustered and a bit, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. It's just one of those very strange mornings. So <laughs> it's also gotten very cold. Uh, I mean, he does have a point. He's trying to kind of get the, the heater going, the fire stove heater system thingy that I've had that we had last year as well um he's trying to kind of get that going he's trying to just do a whole bunch of stuff what is my phone even doing timer there we go. it's just in order to kind of get to that you have to move certain things and those things have to be moved elsewhere in the house and then it causes like this chaotic messy cluttered like and then my brain is kind of like oh there's like a thousand things you have to do now because you know you have to put that somewhere else but then that somewhere else is messy and then you have to find places to put the things that are in that area do you yeah <laughs> so i'm rather flustered this morning I've, I've i've like i'm like i've barely gotten up pulled myself together gotten ready and yet i'm already overwhelmed and it's not a good thing when i'm overwhelmed from the get-go <laughs> it's a little bit yeah Anyway, I um, I tend to do a lot of things, I've realized of late, I tend to do, to break things up and to set one subtask as my priority for that day. And if I get that done, I'm happy. So for example, when it comes to sorting our winter clothes, I told myself all I have to do today would be to sort the t-shirts, to keep five t-shirts for each of the girls and put the rest into the storage for next year, basically. Example. And if I did that, I would be happy. Now I have several other things I have to do before I even get to that because hubby has created more jobs for me to do. And when I have a lot of things that have to be done, not that he won't do most of them, he, he will, like he's happy to do that. He's happy to create a chaos, to kind of tackle things and then kind of just go around and doing stuff. It's just the way he works, I guess. It's just that I get very, very, very overwhelmed and flustered because I can see everything that needs to be done and I feel like I need to do them all right now. Moving on, anyway. Uh, lines, yesterday, a lot of you said you saw lines. A lot of you said you did not see lines. There is a general, uh, these tests. In my opinion, one seemed to have a line, one seemed to not have a line. So I'm kind of, I've seen enough of those kinds of lines to know that it's usually not really a good thing either way. <laughs> it's not a thing. I don't know. It is 11 DPO. I'm not out until AF shows up. That is a given. I do feel like it is the hump. We all know that. That if, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I say that where 11 DPO kind of feels like you're going over the, the hump of the week. You know how Wednesday is kind of the, you know, the midweek and you're heading towards the weekend. That's what I feel 11 DPO is. It's kind of like you're on the other side. Once you've passed 11 DPO, you're heading towards the finish line. The way my brain works, I guess. Um, so I am feeling kind of, I'm in that place where I'm still hopeful and I'm hoping that even last minute it'll, like I'll, I'll turn that test over and the line will, thank you. But at the same time, I'm also starting to get those thoughts of like, wouldn't the line be getting darker if it's a line? And if there is no line, when will it pop up? Like, will it pop up? Maybe time is going by and you know. So I guess there's thoughts that, you know, you can't really avoid if we're being honest. TTCing is just, <sighs> it's, it's that. <laughs> it's the constant thoughts, the constant hoping that AF doesn't show up. Constantly hoping that AF doesn't show up. 
and hoping you get a positive test when AF doesn't show up because no AF and no positive test is also beyond frustrating. <laughs> now, test. <laughs> test. Um, I don't even, okay. Strip test and then clear blue. Yes? Yes. It is fine. It is 11 DPO. There's always time. 11 DPO does not mean, and I know I say this every time, but I, I kind of, I feel the need to say it to myself as well as to you guys where it's just like, 11 DPO can still be considered early. Any day before your period, like before the, your expected period is early testing. Like for women who do not TTC <laughs> or who have just barely started TTCing or who are just kind of, you know, the normal time to test is literally when, you know, on the day of your expected period and on from there. Before, it is early testing and that is what we are doing. <laughs> so at all times, it is early. Yes? Yes. With that being said, we should also be realistic and um, accept what it is. Yes? Okay. Okay. Strip test. Enough pep talking. It is, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. like the, the, the sensation I feel like it's, it's this whole like every time just when you're about to turn over that test you're kind of like your entire being is hoping to turn the test and see that second line it's like I can visualize it in my head even like I can see myself turning the test over and seeing the line like okay Probably the reason why I can't look at tests that easily. I don't know how women who look at them straight away like do it, or how women who, who watch them develop even. I don't even. I could not do that. Okay. Yeah. Now, nah, if I keep staring at it, I, I feel like there's a line. But yeah. Nah. I don't know what is, there's like, no, no, no. It would be darker. It would be darker. It's as simple as that. Minor interruption. Right back where we were. Where was I even? Okay. <laughs> ah, the interruptions. The interruptions are, especially when I'm just about to see the test, it's kind of like, mm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is okay. Everything is fine. It is, it is, yes, okay. No, I don't think so. And Hubby has opened all the doors and windows now as well. And all the flies have come in and I'm starting to get very, very annoyed. Um, nah. <sighs> okay, so I've been interrupted multiple times. Uh, Hubby is in that stage where he's kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm doing all these things, but I also need your general assistance. Like, you know, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do that? And then he just goes and demolishes everything. I adore him to bits. He does help. And I know that by the end of the day, we will have achieved a lot of things today because he's in that kind of mood. But seriously. Anyway. I'm gonna say that these are pretty much negative. I mean, the wishful thinking in me is like, maybe, but I, do, I don't think so. I don't think so because if there were gonna be faint lines up until now, it would be darker by now. Yeah? So we're still hoping for that line, but I don't think. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.